Hello everyone, Leslie from the Gloss Shop and Builders Gloss at Benita. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to protect your gloss. Uh, in recent years, I've got a gloss tabletop here. The standard gloss tabletops like this, it's a half inch thick piece with a beveled edge. They come from China and the prices are great, but the gloss itself scratches very easily compared to um, domestic glass. The problem is the domestic glass can't really compete with the prices of the Chinese glass. So what I'm gonna do first is get the glass all clean, uh, and then I'm going to put a gel coating on it that is going to make it scratch resistant. And in addition to being scratch resistant, this is something you could use on a shower door to prevent the hard water stains and whatnot. So I'm gonna put my gel coat on a fiber, fiber, microfiber, that is the word I'm looking for. So I'm gonna put it on there and rub it into the glass. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like a thick coating and it is fairly thick. What's cool about it, I have to lay it down now to finish this. But what's neat about this is it, it is thick and you literally, once you keep rubbing it in, it eventually adheres to the glass and creates this layer, protective layer, but you can't tell it's there once it's all dried and buffed in. So I'm just gonna go around the glass and keep rubbing this in. I use a uh, spray away glass cleaner to clean it because that does the trick for me, but uh, it is recommended that you use alcohol and water. I don't have it noticed any difference as long as I use the spray away, my favorite glass cleaner. So I've already treated one side of this sauce, but I decided to treat the bottom also because you wouldn't think the bottom would scratch, but if you have it sitting on a pedestal and don't have the little protective shims between the glass, it will scratch it. So anyway, I'm rubbing this in and I can see that it's not rubbed in all the way in certain spots. So I just keep, keep on rubbing and buffing it. And you actually do have to use a little elbow grease to get it going. I've treated most of this. I still have to do the top half, but for now, I want to show you what else I'm doing. I've got this tabletop and I have taped off half of the glass. And I'm going to do a test and I'm going to treat this half, leave this untreated, and then when I come back after it's all done, we're gonna try and scratch it and we're gonna put some water on it and see what happens if it repels the water. So this will be interesting to see because how do you know if this works? You know, how would you know? But if I do this, we can actually compare it side by side, the same piece of glass, and uh, go from there. That cracked ice is here.